I had an idea for a quick project with the HandyPot this afternoon. I've been wanting to spend some more time practicing uh, creating t-shirts with the plotter pen attachment that was released with the HandyPot recently. A couple of the things that I've been struggling with are how to hold the t-shirt while I'm drawing on it and how to create uh, nice clean vector paths to trace for my uh, t-shirt drawings. So the idea that I had was to make a t-shirt for my girlfriend. Uh, she runs a small business in Durham making and selling kimchi. Uh, kimchi is a fermented Korean dish that uh, usually is made from Napa cabbage or daikon radish, which is then fermented with a bunch of spices and uh, makes kind of a nice spicy crispy snack. Um, the idea for the t-shirt was to sketch a Napa cabbage sort of being crammed into a mason jar, which is typically how she stores the kimchi while it's fermenting. So I just kind of copied a couple of uh, images, photographs that I found online, uh, and a pen, a pen and ink sketch, and colored them in with watercolor. And I just snapped a picture of the drawing with my phone, and then imported that picture into vCarve. So vCarve has a feature called bitmap tracing, which allows you to take any bitmap that you've imported and uh, isolate certain colors and turn them into vectors. Uh, you can do specific colors or you can do black and white. In this case, I figured I'd color in the shirts after I was done uh, printing them in black and white. So I just uh, copied the image in black and white. So once you've got the right contrast, you tell it to create a set of vectors based on the outline in black and then you can actually work with those vectors carving them out drawing on them or whatever you need to do so just uh, reorienting my piece a little bit and resizing it to fit the eight by six work area of the handy bot i figured i want the logo to be as big as possible so i'm going to stretch it till it uh, fills up most of the space i also wanted to have some text next to it so i'm going to leave it off to the side uh, the text, rather than drawing the text, I decided to have the text look very clean and um, bold. So I'm going to use the text editor in vCarve and type out the text that I wanted. In this case, I just wanted to say ferment. And I will choose a font that looks, uh, you know, provides a nice contrast to the sort of organic shapes of the lettuce. Um, and will, I think, kind of set it off nicely. You can choose the height and size of your text in vCarve, and then of course you can rotate it and scale it any way you want to. So in this case, I'm going to have it running vertically down the right side of the logo. So a little bit of rotation and repositioning, I get it where I want it and to be about the size that I want. So to draw on these vectors, I'm going to do a pocketing tool path, but I'm not actually going to be pocketing anything out with a end mill. I'm going to be drawing it in with a pen. So I've created a bit that stands in for my pen, and I just tell it that it's a, uh, a 0 0.0125 diameter bit, and it's going to make um, 0.01 pa uh, depth passes. And so it'll just make really fine passes and be able to fill in a lot of the details. So I check to make sure that the pen is going to be able to reach all the small details of the drawing, and everything looks good, so I'm satisfied with that and just drawing an outline on the text that I'm going to be drawing as well. So go ahead and save this out uh, as my new t-shirt design. Uh, you save it as a regular ShopBot part file. Uh, the only difference is you're going to be unplugging the router and using the pen instead of uh, cutting it out. So the problem of holding on the t-shirt, uh, something that I've worked on for a while and before, I had been using a piece of rubber attached to a board to hopefully hold the shirt so it wouldn't slide around while you were drawing on it. But after using some carpet tape the other day on a project where I was cutting out circuit boards, I thought, hey, that would probably be a pretty good way to hold the uh, shirt down as well. So I used that double-sided carpet tape and uh, attached it to a, a wooden plank and then wrapped the shirt around that plank. Uh, making sure to get it nice and smooth and flat so that the pen doesn't get caught on any wrinkles in the t-shirt. But it sticks really well. And uh, this is definitely the way that I'm going to do this from now on. So I just used a little uh, 
wood holding jig that comes with the handy bot and slide it in there. And of course, I need to swap the router out. Um, go ahead and unplug that, pull it out, and the plotter pin fits where the vacuum foot goes. So I'll take that off as well. Just a couple of twists pulls that out of the frame. And the plotter pin then snaps right into the magnetic bracket that normally holds the dust foot. So uh, to zero out the tool, I'm going to move it towards the center of the t-shirt and step it down until it's pretty close to the t-shirt so that I can slide my pen into place. Um, I just put a little piece of paper underneath uh, the plotter pen so that it doesn't uh, mark on my shirt before I'm ready for it. And then just slide the pen in and secure it into the pen holder with uh, the two set screws. And since it's already resting on the shirt, it's already zeroed out. So I just move it up and go ahead and hit go on my on my uh, t-shirt design file. There's a couple of lines already drawn on there because I realized as I started that I hadn't put the pen down low enough, and so I lowered it and restarted it again. But uh, once you get the height set correctly, um, it'll it'll draw a nice fine lines on your t-shirt. Uh, draw thicker lines if you push the pen down even further. I found that these uh, Sharpie fabric pens work really well because they have a nice soft nib and they don't drag too much on the shirt and they also don't wash out too badly when you uh, put them in the washing machine. So the uh, text is coming out really nicely. Uh, the pen's not rocking at all and it's making nice sharp uh, detailed letters. So pretty pleased with how the shirt is holding onto the board here and the detail that uh, resulted. So I decided rather than trying to color it in with the handy bot, which you could do with a couple of more creative pocketing tool pants, I thought why not just color it in by hand and give it more of a, a hand-drawn look. And I can use a couple of different colors uh, without having to swap out the plotter pen color. So all in all a pretty quick project. The drawing of the shirt took about 10 minutes and then you know, just colored it in a little bit. Now time to put it in the wash.